So you're about to enter some of the most advanced manufacturing that is done in any industry, any place on earth. Right? And uh, the facility here, it's almost $10 billion of investment. Every aspect of human existence is becoming more digital. Everything digital needs semiconductors. And that's not slowing down, that's accelerating as we go through this decade. I believe that we were headed for a shortage before COVID, but a little shortage. You know, demand was starting to pick up, more things getting to be digital, and this is a half a trillion dollar industry growing maybe 5% per year. And then COVID, supply chains go negative, right? Factories are stopped, disrupted in the supply chain. So instead of 5%, we're now negative, and demand skyrockets because everybody is working from home. They're educating from home, they're doing healthcare from home. All of these industries are being increasingly pressured to rise up and become digital more rapidly. This would be a high-end server chip. And this chip, like imagine tonight, you go home and you Google something, or you go home and you go onto Amazon, right, to search for something, or, you know, maybe you're playing a game online uh, as well. This would be one of the Google, Amazon, Microsoft, any, any of those, right, you know, servers, this would be the kind of chip. This is the worst that it's ever been for uh, supply. And to build the new factory is years. We're in the worst of it now. Q3 and Q4, I believe this is the, you know, the, the worst part that we'll have. And every quarter next year will get incrementally better. But I expect the uh, shortages persist into 2023.